You're welcome to another edition of the Market Opening Gong, where we bring you updates from the Nigerian capital market. This edition captures the market performance for Monday, July 25, 2022. From the Nigeria exchange, the equities market dipped by minus 1.11% to open the week negative, as investors lost 212.44 billion naira. Its year-to-date returns currently stands positive at plus 20.33%. The All Share Index closed at 51,400.53 basis points as market capitalization stood at 27.72 trillion naira in 4,314 deals. The market closed with 13 gainers to 17 losers. The top three gainers for the day were FTN Coco PLC, CAP PLC, and NACO PLC. While the top three losers were MTN Nigeria PLC, United Capital PLC, and Cotix PLC. UBA PLC, Zenit Bank, and Transcorp PLC were the most active stocks by volume. From the unlisted OTC market, the NSI and market capitalization closed flat at 766.92 basis points and 1.009.58 trillion naira, respectively. The total volume traded declined by minus 89.93% to close at 306,929, valued at 5.25 million naira, traded in seven deals. The FMDQ Good Debt Market size closed at 29.16 trillion naira. From the currency market, the NAFEX rate dipped by minus 0.20% to close at 423 naira, while the INEFX closed at 427 naira 17 kobo to a dollar. For the commodities market from the energy space, the Brent crude oil price moved up by plus 6.12% to close at 104 dollars 4 cents. The West Texas Intermediate also inched up by plus 1.65% to close at $96.26 as of 12.43 p.m. Central Daylight Time. For metals, gold dipped by minus 0.45% to close at $1,720.13. Silver also dipped by minus 0.70% to close at $18.46 as of 12.43 p.m. Central Daylight Time. From the Afex Exchange, maize advanced by 10.96% to top the gainer's chart while paddy rice declined by 8.43% to top the loser's chart. For corporate actions, Bois Cement and ETI released their results on the Nigeria Exchange Group. To get a daily market report snapshot, you can visit our website www.proshare.co. For news around the market, according to the ProShare analysts, despite the 100 basis point increase in interest rates, Capital flows will not increase substantially due to structural issues. The foreign reserve will continue to be supported by export proceed remittances under the RT200 program. However, the considerable demand for foreign exchange in the next year's run-up to general elections will put downward pressure on the Naira. On what to watch today, Atos Steve Asset Management Limited will host a special webinar series that will discuss the theme, the effect of energy prices on the Nigerian economy with Nengi Isokrari, research analyst, and Carlo Aja, financial analyst and planner, as speakers. Time for the webinar is 2 p.m. Also, Cornerstone Insurance will hold an general meeting at the Muson Center on Econ Lagos. The time for the event is 1 p.m. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. To connect with us on our social media platforms displayed on the screen. Until we come your way again, thank you for watching.